Of all the functions of an operations management system, scheduling is the most important. It not only helps define every activity of the operations management system, it becomes an agreement between the marketing and manufacturing functions of an organization. As the saying goes, you plan your work, then you work your plan. Reliable scheduling can ensure the stability of a production process as long as it has enough flexibility to satisfy the changing expectations of the customer. Service organizations also face extra challenges because they often require many different scheduling systems. Airlines are a perfect example of this kind of multiple resource service organization. They not only have to schedule different flights to their various locations, they must also schedule flight crews, baggage handlers, maintenance, and other resources for each of these flights. Furthermore, government regulations and union rules restrict the number of hours a pilot can fly and a flight crew can be away from their home base. And all of these schedules have to be coordinated into one overall master production schedule. All of these factors create a very complicated system that requires a complex and detailed scheduling process. United Airlines has designed their own sophisticated computer programs to create their scheduling system. Developed in United's Research and Development Department, the scheduling system is broken down into many smaller components with the flight schedule as the foundation for all other schedules. Scheduling for each area employs internally developed custom computer software with each software program using different algorithms. The aircraft scheduling group develops a schedule for all of the actual aircraft, making sure they can adhere to the strategic plan. We talk about all our resource constraints like crew, pilots in flight, we talk about ground resources and everything else. All those resources are planned around what United needs to do in order to maximize its revenue. And that what, that's what a flight schedule is all about. A flight schedule is developed by aircraft scheduling in order to maximize United's revenue. And, and that is the starting point of wanting to fly from point A to point B. As the schedule begins to take shape, the maintenance schedule is factored into the equation. This schedule makes sure that the flight schedule will coincide with the maintenance requirements of the planes. Each plane requires a certain amount of routine maintenance over a given time. If the plane doesn't undergo a checkup by that time, it is grounded for an even longer period for a more thorough maintenance checkup. The goal of the maintenance schedule is to maintain the planes within the required time deadline, but as close to the maximum amount of time as possible. The next component of United's scheduling system is the flight crew schedule. This is an intricate system that schedules the pilots and flight attendants in a way that minimizes costs and improves the efficiency of each employee. It also strives to get these employees back to their home base safely, while meeting their expectations for the quality of work life and on-the-job efficiency. The last schedule that is developed is the airport manpower schedule. This scheduling system consists of the outside employees, such as the ground crew, cabin cleaners, and baggage handlers, and inside employees, such as gate agents, lobby agents, the concierge, and others. This scheduling system is used both at the corporate office as well as at each airport. To develop an efficient schedule, United has developed a computer program called Pegasus. This program was created by the Operations Research Group within the Information Services Division. Using a multiple-step scheduling heuristic, Pegasus utilizes two components. The first is derived from the final flight schedule and consists of volume-driven statistics such as the number of flights in a day, including the arrival and departure times, the anticipated amount of passengers getting on and off the plane, and the amount of cargo loaded on and off the plane. The second component is value-driven statistics, such as the standard amount of work expected from each employee for each job and the desired level of service. Work is defined by time, divided into 15-minute increments as a function of the two components. And that uh, workload is reflected by uh, bar charts, basically. And the higher the bar goes, the more workload the w there is. And that workload looks like a skyscraper that, uh, that shows how much work there is on a given day at a given location. 
Local managers can then input their human resource variables into the program. These variables include the desired percentage of full-time and part-time employees at the airport, the number of unique start times, lunch and break requirements, and more. The program will then develop a work schedule that will most efficiently meet the work demands that were computed earlier. Planners use their Pegasus software, shifting algorithms until a satisfactory schedule is developed. The resulting schedule is generated in the form of a shift bid. A shift bid is a list of all the shifts required to meet the requirements of the schedule that was just developed. Then, based on seniority, employees pick the shift they want.